this is ABM Graphics. Yes, and today is the final day for the month of July, 31st July 2022. And today I just want to take you through on how to design a, a cafe menu, a very beautiful one and professional one, very, very neat one. Yes. So let us go to our Photoshop like this. And what the first thing you, you need is the kind of document that you are going to use for the design and this one is just a flyer and I'm going to use a Photoshop uh, uh, size which one uh, which is already there art and illustrations and I'm going to use thousand by thousand pixels and this one I'll call it cafe menu and this one is just one menu that we we just have to use okay so that is what i'm getting right now so the first thing i have to do is to create a background and i'll group it and i'll call that one background okay background background just like this and the first thing i have to do is to come and introduce a gradient color just like this and then I will choose a gradient color like this. Okay. And then the first thing I have to do is to the style, I'll make a radial and to be like this for me. Then I will click OK. So there is the background. Then the first thing I have to do is go and import in the pictures that I'm going to use for that particular distance. And the first thing I have to do is to come up with this particular picture, this one. And then I'll just reduce the size to somehow small like this. And then I'll move that one to somewhere here. And then I'll just flip it, right click, and I'll flip it vertically. And to be like this. Okay. And if it, the next thing I have to do is to pick that one to, I'll just duplicate it. Then I'll just tilt it this way. Like this. And that one should be somewhere here too. And the next thing I have to do is to bring this one over here. And then I'll just flip it horizontally and to be like this. Okay, for now. So the next thing I have to do is to group all in one this thing. Just like this. And then I'll just right click and convert it to smart object so that I can make corrections on it or I can just do anything for it. So the next thing I have to do is to come and pick a filter, click on filter. Then I'll come to bl uh, blur, then I'll go to Gaussian blur, and then I'll just blur it up to go in inside of this thing, just like this. Then I'll click OK. And then the next thing I have to do is to come over and then I'll import in another picture like this, and that one should come down there like that. And then this one I'll change the I'll change the blending mode to somewhere like this i'll choose soft light like this okay and the next thing i have to do is to import in the main picture that i'm going to use just like this and then that one too i'll just transform it just like this transform it just like this it's very simple steps very very simple okay so I will have it somewhere like this. And the next thing I have to do is come and pick a, 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 a marking tool and I'll come and pick a lips ellipse tool over here. Then I'll just draw something like this down there. Okay, and it should be black. Then I'll click over here. I'll right click over here and rasterize the layer. Okay, and I'll come to filter, come to blend, and I'll go to custom blend, and then I'll just blend it just like that then i'll click ok then i'll reduce the side the, 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 the opacity so that it will match over there and then i'll just roll it up like that and then i'll click ok and then i'll bring it down to the listing so that i can have it just like this okay just like this then i'll click ok so let me just increase the opacity small. Then I'll have it like this. 
okay and the next thing I have to do is to come back and then I'll pick this particular special paper and then I'll click over here and then I'll just paste it in and then I'll separate it by cutting it and then I'll reduce the size to somehow 12 and then I'll paste this one to and I'll reduce that one to size to 12 and then I'll have it like this okay so the next thing I have to do is that I just want to change the font there okay yes so I'll click on font uh, font names over there and then just wait for my font to appear yes and then I'll just check through some kind of font I'm going to use for that okay yes so I'll use one particular font uh, ninth, uh, ninth of terror I'll use that one which is over here like that so the font has changed so the next thing I have to do is to increase my listing a little bit so that I can have it like this okay. let me see let me make it 13 and see how it will look like okay I think that it's okay and then I'll just move this one over here and then I can I'll hold shift to select all just like this and then the next thing I have to do is that I'll right click over here I'll, I'll, I'll right click on the this thing then I'll come to skew like this and then I'll just move it just like this and then just move this one like that okay then I'll have it something like this and over there so over there let me just reduce the size to somewhere 24 like this and then I'll just move this one just move this one over here just like that okay and the next thing I have to do is to come and pick rectangular marking tool over here then I'll just draw something like this over there and then I'll change the color to white and then I'll come to edit then I'll come to free transform and then I'll just hold control and move one part of the distance just like here i'll hold here then i'll move it to somewhere like this then i'll have some shape over there and then what i need to do is to let it come somewhere beneath there the b over there then i'll just tilt it this way like this okay and then I'll just reduce the size and to speed some how like this for me. Okay, I'll just have it some right like that. And then I'll just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G and let that one go to the top. And then that one too, I'll just right click and flip it horizontally. And then I'll have fit like this and then I'll let that one to come somewhere here and then I'll just hold shift to select all and then I'll just move it somewhere here and then what I need to do is to I just want to transform it a little bit so that you go in small just like this I don't want it to be too big okay and I'll have it like this okay yes so the next thing that we are going to do is to have some random text down here so I'll just pick my text tool over there and then I'll just come out uh, draw something like hold it I'll click and hold the text tool then a random text will just appear 
just like this and then I will change the font to poppies yes and then I'll just let it go down and then I'll just reduce the this thing and then I'll make it white the text color should be white and then I'll hold it back and then I'll just transform it I don't want the text to be too much okay I think this one is okay for me then I'll let it be somewhere here okay and the next thing I have to do is to come and copy it, this particular this thing over there and I'll click and I'll copy it and then I'll just come and paste it here and that will be a website yes it should be a website and that one should be somewhere here and then I'll come back and copy order now and then I'll paste that one to somewhere here and that one I will introduce a rectangular market tool over here and that one should be somewhere like this and then over here I'll just drag it in and then I'll change the color to yellow and then I'll make this one come on top and I'll change the color to black just like that and then I'll come from I'll come to my characters and I'll change the regular to gold yes and I'll have it like this and then I'll just make it come somewhere here okay yes and the next thing I have to do is to have a phone number over here and then I'll just type in my phone number just like this and then I'll just have it somewhere like this and I'll change the color to white okay and then let's just work around it so that it will, it will look beautiful and then over there I just want to change the distance to semi bold and then I'll just make it somehow wider wider text like that and then over here let's work around it let's have it somewhere like this okay so like this like that okay and then position in the middle and then i'll let that one to come somewhere here and then this one is too distant so i just want to reduce the side to somewhere four just like that this and should be somewhere here in this and then we are just getting to the end of the tutorial and I'll come and pick this one over there and for that one I will introduce ellipse car tool and then I will just hold shift and draw okay and I'll change the color to 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 I'll change the color to yellow and then I'll just paste in that color that's uh, sorry that text over there and then I will make it I'll let it come here and I'll change the color to black just like this and then I'll just transform it this way and the only the only should be somehow smaller and then this one should be bigger and then I'll just hold and I'll change the regular to gold and I just want it to look like this okay and then I'll have it like that over there yes so let me just transform it out I just want to transform it out so that it will look a little bit bigger okay yes so the next thing I have to do is to duplicate the circle over there and then I'll reduce I'll, the field I'll off it then I'll introduce the stroke which is white 
and then I'll just use three size three and then the next thing I have to do is to just let it come out like I'll just transform it out just like this it is and then I'll have it like this and then let me see where I can place it okay let me just place it somewhere here and then I'll have it like this I'll have it like this yes so this is how a cafe menu has been designed in Photoshop and you can have it like this the next thing I have to do is to I just want to introduce some kind of um, background maybe background shapes okay I'll just click over here and I'll come to custom shapes and I'll click over there and then I'll just come and choose this particular this thing over there and then I'll just make something like this over there and then I'll change that one to color to white just like this okay and I'll bring it to down over this thing and then I'll reduce the opacity just like this and then I'll just transform it just transform it I don't want it to be looking a bit bigger yes and I'll have it like this yes so the next thing that when you have something like this is beautiful and you can also decide I'll just hold the board and I'll group it on one and I'll call it one and the other one I'll call it what two so these two what I need to do over here is that I just want to change the color to different one it means that I'm giving the client two different so I'll have something like this over here. Yes. So when I have something like this over there, I'll just come and change the color to black and then this one to I'll change it to this color. Yes, and this one to I'll change it to black. Yes, and then this one I'll make it black too. And then this one I'll make it black too. Okay. Yes. So let's just get in touch and then let's see what we can do for this particular side. White, I think white will be okay. But black to work here, but I just like white, so let's use white for there because over there it's orange, so I think white can easily appear very well. Yes, and then this one, let me make it black, and no, let me make it this color. Yes, okay, so that shape will look different. Okay, what? Okay, yes. So this is two different flyers that we have just designed. So this is different two flyers that we have just designed in Photoshop. This one and then this one. And it's just a matter of changing the colors of the background. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. This is ABM Graphics. Have a nice day.